Spurs have been named as the ninth most valuable club in the world. The Brazil v Argentina game has been suspended after four players should be in quarantine, including Tottenham stars Christian Romero and Giovanni Lo Celso. Reports are stating that Adama Traore could sign a new deal at Wolves uh, with a release clause of £60 million. So if Tottenham wanted him, they'd have to pay that fee. Jack Grealish on nearly joining Tottenham Hotspur Football Club a couple of years ago. And happy birthday, Tottenham Hotspur, 139 today. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping well. In today's video, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. And if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. We're now very close to 60,000 subscribers, so thank you very much for all of your support. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news. As well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel, you can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. According to Transfer Market Official, Tottenham Hotspur Football Club are the ninth most valuable club in the world, uh, according to squad value, with a squad value of 697 million euros. Uh, Manchester City topped the list. Uh, their squad value is 1.04 billion euros. Uh, PSG in second, 997 million euros. Manchester United in third, 937 million. Chelsea fourth, 882 million. Liverpool fifth, 880 million. Uh, Bayern Munich in sixth place, 852 million. Real Madrid in seventh place, 784 million. Atletico Madrid in eighth place, 755 million. As I said, Tottenham in ninth place, 697 million. And Barcelona in tenth, 676 million euros. On Sunday evening, Tottenham Hotspur striker and England captain Harry Kane come off the subs bench as England beat Andorra 4-0 at Wembley Stadium. And he got on the score sheet again, scoring from the penalty spot. He has now scored an incredible 40 goals for England. He is just 13 away from Wayne Rooney's record of 53 goals. Bobby Charlton uh, is second on the list with 49. Gary Lineker third with 48. Jimmy Greaves fourth with 44. And Harry Kane now goes equal uh, in fifth place alongside Michael Owen with 40 goals. Now, recording this video on Sunday, the 5th of September, so it is a very, very happy birthday to Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, 139 today. Of course, on this day in 1882, Tottenham Hotspur were formed. Now, um, lots of uh, posts on social media talking about favourite moments in Tottenham's history, our 139-year history. Uh, mine, of course, is when Tottenham Hotspur have lifted trophies. Uh, the fantastic away day at Ajax, beating uh, them 3-2 to go through to the Champions League final. Of course, my first ever game at White Hart Lane back in 1994. Uh, I'll never, ever forget that day. And, uh, of course, just falling in love with the club, um, everything about it. And, uh, you know, we, 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 we watch Tottenham Hotspur, we watch uh, the highs, we watch the lows. We watch Tottenham, whether we win, lose or draw. And, uh, you know, we all absolutely love and adore the club. Please do let me know your favourite moments uh, of Tottenham's history that are your favourites. Uh, but, of course, mine are when we lift trophies. So let's hope that uh, we can start recording some more trophy wins in the near future. Manchester City and England star Jack Grealish has come out and said how close he was to joining Tottenham Hotspur Football Club and what manager Dean Smith said to him at the time uh, whilst playing for Aston Villa. He was talking to ITV and he said, I'll always remember Dean Smith when he first came into Aston Villa. He came in about three months into the season and I just nearly signed for Spurs that summer. It didn't happen and then I stayed at Villa. He came in and pulled me on the first day and said, so you were going to sign for Spurs? I was like, yes, nearly. He was like, £25 million, question mark. I think that we were nine games in, nine games in. Now look, on the board it says no goals and one assist. He was like, I need you to get your numbers up. And that was one thing I tried to do, to get my numbers up there. And as soon as I'd gone to Manchester City, that's exactly what the manager said to me there. Now my thoughts on this... Um, 
this is one that really slipped away, in my opinion, Jack Grealish. Imagine him now in a Tottenham Hotspur shirt. Uh, an incredible player. Every single time I've seen him play, he has uh, really, really impressed me, certainly for Aston Villa and now, of course, Manchester City and England in the summer as well. Um, every time I was uh, one of the Euro 2020 games, um, all of the England fans, no matter what team they supported, were calling for Jack Grealish to come on for that you know, a bit more exciting play. Um, but I remember back in the day, uh, I think it was reported that Tottenham Hotspur um, actually put a bid in of around £3 million plus Josh Onoma to go to Aston Villa. And then um, I think we, we then put in around £25 million bid, uh, which was then rejected. But I think if we'd have paid about five or ten million pounds more, we would have had our man. And uh, you just think now, Jack Grealish in a Tottenham Hotspur shirt, the chances that he would create, the goals that he would score. And very interesting there, what he said about uh, Dean Smith and now Pep Guardiola is saying exactly the same thing about providing more assists and more goals. Um, I think the guy is incredible and uh, yet another one that I feel has slipped away. A report has been published by the Daily Express and now stating that Wolves winger Adama Traore wants two assurances before signing a new bumper contract with the club. According to reports, amid interest from Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur, Wolves are preparing to make Traore their highest paid player to fend off suitors. It states that Traore was heavily linked with a move to Tottenham Hotspur in the closing stages of the summer transfer window and the 25-year-old has two years left on his current deal at Molyneux with interest in his services likely to disappear after a solid start to this season. And according to the Sun newspaper, Wolves are ready to offer him a brand new four-year contract worth a whopping £25 million per year amid interest from Tottenham Hotspur and Liverpool. Traore currently earns around £55,000 per week, which would increase to £120,000 per week if he commits his future to Wolves. Back to the report from the Daily Express, it says that the report claims that Traore has two things if he is going to extend his stay at the Midlands club. The Spanish international is ambitious and wants to be sure he's at a club capable of competing in Europe regularly. Traore could also be persuaded to sign on at Wolves if the club includes a £60 million buyout clause in the contract, making a departure available if the valuation is met. Now, my thoughts on this, um, there were lots of reports out on transfer deadline day that Tottenham Hotspur were offering around £30 million uh, for Adama Traore. Uh, but the report stated that Wolves wanted £50 million in order for him to leave the club. How true that is, uh, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, would I pay £50 million for Traore? Probably not. Um, you know, I do like him as a player and I've said this on various, you know, numerous videos. Um, you know, he, he run rings around uh, Jan Vertonghen a couple of years ago. Every single time I've seen him play, he's done exceptionally well. However, he don't really score a lot of goals. He doesn't really provide enough assists, in my opinion. Um, is he worth £50 million? I don't think so. Um, would we get closer to the top four with him in our squad? Probably not. Um that's my opinion. Um, I know the opinion on Adama Traore is very, very mixed. Every single time I've mentioned him on this channel, uh, lots of people have said, really like him, you know, sign him up, fantastic player. And then, of course, you get lots of people um, saying very negative things about him as well. So I think it's about 50-50. I think the fans are very, very split um, on this player. Uh, it be interesting to see whether Adama Traore signs a new contract at Wolves or whether he does get a big money move elsewhere. Um, but £50 million, pounds, I don't think he is worth £50 million. Now, as stated on a video last week, Giovanni Lo Celso and new signing Christian Romero have flown off for international duty with their country, Argentina. Uh, well, on Sunday evening tonight, uh, Brazil's World Cup qualifier with Argentina was stopped on Sunday evening, just seven minutes into the game, as health authorities came onto the pitch to halt proceedings. This is a report from Sports Bible. On Sunday evening, it was reported that Brazilian police had been ordered to deport four Argentina players who had all travelled with the squad, all from the Premier League. According to current regulations in the country, two Aston Villa players, uh, Giovanni Lo Celso and Christian Romero, were all meant to quarantine for 14 days before entering. Their failure to do so threatened to stop their appearance in the game, although it had been claimed that they would award Argentina the point if the game didn't go ahead. Uh, Martinez of Aston Villa, uh, Giovanni Lo Celso and Romero all started the game, but less than 10 minutes into the match, authorities entered the pitch and demanded a stop to proceedings. 
Now, my thoughts on this, what an absolute mess. Christian Romero and Giovanni Lo Celso, uh, I did say on the video last week, I had hoped that they would stay at home, uh, here in England, I mean home, um, you know, and not go out on international duty because we do not want any uh, other problems. We've just started the Premier League so well, three wins out of three, and we do not want any issues like this happening. Um, I doubt now that they are going to be playing against uh, Crystal Palace on Saturday. Uh, it would be doubtful as well whether they play in the Chelsea game. Uh, we don't need any disruptions like this of any nature. So uh, very, very disappointed by the whole situation. I would just like to take this opportunity to thank every single one of you for nominating me for a Football Content Award 2021. I'm absolutely thrilled, delighted and extremely surprised and shocked to say that I've been shortlisted for three awards this year. The Best Club Content Creator, the Best Club Creator and the Best in Video. Now the finalist voting round will end at midnight on Sunday the 12th of September. The winners will be revealed at the live event at the Royal Lancaster Hotel on the 14th of October. If you would like like to vote for me again in this final round it would really really be appreciated thank you very much indeed for all of your support thanks for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it please do let me know all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything i've spoken about in today's video if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet please do hit that subscribe button as i said at the start of the video we are now very very close to 60,000 subscribers so thank you so much for all of your support I'll see you on the next video. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs.